Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what are my favorite SPF products. I'm actually on vacation and today is my last day. I woke up probably 15 minutes ago, so I'm still swollen. Maybe it's not a good idea to film right now. Who knows? However, I thought this is going to be authentic and raw and you're going to see exactly the products that I take with me when I go on vacation and what worked for me because other than my nose because I fell asleep in the sun, I don't have any sunburn. I trust these products, I recommend them. I'll tell you when I use which. Do you guys mind if I put my sunglasses on because I can barely open my eyes? It's only 7.30 but um, the sun is so strong. This doesn't really bother you. Oh my god, different life. Um, okay, so before we get into this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you've clicked on the uh, ring bell button so you get notifications when I'm posting new videos. Now let's get into it. Here in this little bag is where I keep all my creams, all my F SPF products for face and for body as well. This is actually a lunchbox. I got it from Amazon and I like it because it's thermo resistant so your products are not going to melt inside of these. I take this with me whenever I go at the beach or at the pool. I've almost finished this uh, SPF 15 from Dior. It's actually the only one that I was using on my lower part uh, of my body. I know it's only SPF 15, but I don't understand why my legs just never get as tanned as my shoulders and my chest. So that's why I'm only using SPF 15 for my legs only. This is an oil, it's super hydrating. It doesn't really matter how you hold it, it's going to spray in every single position. Uh, and it has like a continuous mist. Look. And because it's an oil, it shines beautiful. So if you take pictures, it's going to look absolutely amazing. All right, now here is my everyday SPF cream. This is my all year round um, moisturizer. I prefer to use this, uh, of course, in the morning. It has SPF. 30. It's from Exuvians and I would recommend this if you have more like dry or dehydrated skin. Alright, next one is Touch Up Pore Perfecting Sunscreen with SPF 35. This you can only find in Sephora uh, US. Every time I get there, I buy um, this SPF because it's one of my favorite to use under the makeup. It really prolongs the foundation, not to mention that it really blurs the pores and it protects your skin from sun and also, you know, from whatever product you're going to use on top of it. Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 from Super Goop. This is something that I've never seen before. It's almost like a clear sunscreen. And let me show you, like, I've got it right here of the two products together. On the left, we've got the Super Goop, the Unseen uh, Sunscreen, and on the right, we've got the Tatcha, the Silken um, SPF 35. Now, I gotta tell you that this is exactly like one of those blurring primers, you know, it, is, it has like a silicon consistency almost. It's great to be used uh, under makeup, However, it takes a while until it, it dries and um, I don't personally like the feeling uh, like 5-10 minutes right after I apply it. So you need a little bit of time after you apply this uh, before you dig into your foundation, for example. Um, it's a very, very special consistency, like uh, something I've never seen before. More, more like, a, like a primer, like I said. Now, this is the product that I was using on my upper part of the body. This is the Vichy Ideal Soleil in SPF 30. I love this because, again, it has a spray. I prefer products that uh, do have a spray. This is easier for me to apply. It's not sticky. It has a beautiful glow because, you know, it matters for me to look good in pictures as well, as well as being protected, of course and it's hydrating and it's a lightweight that's very very important for me I reapplied this every 40 minutes to one hour 
But I didn't stay in the sun as much as I would have loved to because I'm not the kind of person that would sit at the pool, says the person who is literally filming in front of the pool at 7.30 a.m. But no, really, in Santorini, you've got these beautiful views, as you can see, I'm not complaining, uh, but they are not really strong at beaches. Another product that I was using a lot uh, while I was on vacation is this Barbara Storm Sun Drops SPF 50. Now, I was using these alone because I needed that uh, high protection. However, I don't like to use these um, when, you know, I'm not at the beach because this is very sticky. Uh, so I don't like to use this under a foundation. I don't like how the foundation blends on top of this. However, it has really, really good protection. And whenever I apply this, I could stay in the sun for a six hours and nothing will happen, even if I don't reapply it. I had to show this La Mer moisturizer with SPF 30. This is a really good product. I know that some of you would be like, oh, this is so bougie. And it is because it's expensive. It's La Mer. But it's a good product. It could absolutely be your everyday SPF. You can use it under the makeup. Really great product. You guys want to see around? Let me show you. Okay, so... First of all, we are in Imerovili in Santorini and I've been uh, trying to film a vlog. Let me know if you are interested to see more about this place. This hotel where we are staying, it's the absolute most beautiful hotel I've ever been in my life. The view is amazing. It has the most spectacular sunset that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, so I totally recommend if you guys want to see a vlog about this place and my vacation in Santorini, let me know. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you're uh, giving it a thumbs up, that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, click on that ring bell button, and now I'm just gonna go apply some SPF. I'm wearing Alex's shirt. Please don't tell him. See you in my next video. Bye. Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Jeez. What if I stay like this? God, I hope it's not too windy.